Hi, and welcome to the video. In this video, I'm just going to run through the initial setup of Listing Coach. So I've already added it to my account, and we're just gonna go through these first few steps of setup, just to help you understand what each one does for your business listing. So first step, nice and simple, just go ahead and put your the website name of the website you're trying to set up here, and just click on Check Website. And then once you've done that, you're gonna see here a little preview of your website. And once you're happy that that is actually the right website and you haven't put the wrong URL in, just go ahead and tap next there. Next up, another really simple step, just entering your personal information. So just go ahead and put your name, uh, your email address, and you can choose a profile picture too if you want. The more information you put into this process, the better it's going to be uh, for visibility. So I just recommend filling in everything you can here. So once you've filled in that information, just click next. Now we're starting to get into some of the really important information. So enter your company data. As you can see here, uh, some of this is already pre-filled out for me from my Fastos account, but you wanna make sure this data is accurate because this is what's going to show in your listings. So make sure your business name is right, your phone numbers are right, mobile numbers, email addresses, facts if you've got it. Not many people use it, but hey, if you've got it, definitely put it in here. And then just make sure you fill in the location information on the right hand side uh, in full. So when you fill that in, you're just gonna see it pop up on the map here. And again, that's important because if you're listed in Google Places for Business, you're gonna have um, the, that map will display on search results and your business will be on that map. So make sure all this information is spot on and then just go ahead and click next. Okay, in this next step, we're going to enter our business sector. Uh, so there's two options here. You can go through this three, uh, three boxes here, industry, category, and sector or you can start free typing in the box at the bottom. Now I would probably just recommend using the categories that you can see on screen because even when you start typing, you have to use the ones set out by Listing Coach. So by all means start typing um, and if, the, if your sector is listed in there, it will appear in the bottom section and you can just click that. Otherwise just search through here like I'm doing. Um, and just go in this and just add industry category sector add as many as are relevant uh, Just because these are going to be in the directories your business is less listed in these are where they're going to be listed in the directory So those directories uh, will have Industry category and sectors and what you select here will mean that's when customers are searching within those areas Your business will appear so make sure you get these accurate So once you've entered those just go ahead and tap next so on this page, we're going to enter where our customers come from. So you can enter up to three cities here. And at the top, you've got a slider that allows you to set how far from those cities you want to target your customers. Now, again, this is important because this is going to uh, basically mean Listing Coach will list your business on the relevant uh, sort of entry. So it's not going to list you in local business, lo local directories up in sort of Manchester if you're selecting Gloucester. And that's just to make sure that it's targeting the right customers for you. So like I say, make sure you're, uh, you're only targeting the customers that are relevant to your business. Uh, once you've selected that, go ahead and press next. Now we're going to have a look at relevant keywords for your business. So this is going to be when you are listed on some directories. These keywords are gonna help customers who are searching for businesses find yours. So you wanna make sure that you're entering relevant keywords. So if a customer searches, your business will show up. Now don't worry too much about this initial section where you were asked to enter some keywords. Try and enter quite a few. I'm just gonna enter three here. Um, but basically what it's gonna do based on the ones you enter here, uh, is give you a bunch of suggestions. So like I say, don't worry too much if you can't think of a load of them, uh, you're gonna get a bunch of suggestions anyway. So just type in a few here and click next. And I'll just, um, it might take a minute or so just to load these keywords. So once the suggestions have loaded, you're gonna get some information here. So there's a load of bubbles you can see here. So these are the suggested keywords and we can see the big blue ones mean there's a high volume of the searches. So they're good ones to target because there's a lot of people searching for them. Red means there's not quite so many searches, um, but sometimes that's more useful if you're in a niche business. Now what's important is this competition. So red circle means there's a lot of competition and as you'd expect, digital consultancy, there's gonna be a lot of competition for that sort of word. Um, basically pick up to I think 20 of these. Uh, you may as well pick as many as you can uh, that are actually relevant. Pick a nice mix of easy to target, harder to target, 
lots of uh, lots of searches and a fewer searches and once you've done that we're going to just click save keywords at the bottom this next step we need to provide a description about your company there's a short and a long um, basically the brief one will be displayed as sort of when a customer is doing an overview so if there's like a few listings the customer will see the short one if they go into your business they click through to your business they're going to see the long description again pretty self-explanatory keep the brief on brief and use some some good keywords remember you're need to sell your business at this point so you want to try and sell it in as few words as possible to try and make sure someone clicks through to your business over one of your competitors the long description you can give a bit more detail and sort of try and uh, expand a little bit on the brief description i've just copied and pasted some here just to save you having to watch me type and i'm just going to enter them now once you've entered those just click next next up we're going to do the opening times so pretty self-explanatory and um, if you just go ahead and click the, the days that you're open on the same hours so i'm just doing monday to friday here nine till five and then if you've got separate weekend hours you just tap a click on add opening times and you can do monday and saturday and sunday and then different times do as many of those as you want to make sure your uh, your business hours are accurate and at the bottom you can just type in additional information uh, regarding opening times like if you're open at christmas or anything like that make sure those are right because that's going to be displayed if you're searching on google um, and the business is listed uh, on the map the opening times are displayed there so you want to make sure you keep these up to date if you change them in the future and you can change those once you once you're set up next up we've got the media that's going to be displayed on your listings um so again fairly self-explanatory but there's some quite strict uh strict just quite strict dimensions here and that's just to make sure everything's kept uniform across all the directories so go ahead and do your logo and your main photo and you can crop them as you upload them so if you've got something that's not quite meeting the requirements you can sort of crop it if you need to um, but again try and match those requirements as much as possible because obviously it's going to be in a lot of different directories so you want to make sure that it's uniform across all of them you can also add other photos so if you've got a bunch of nice photos that really uh, sort of sell your business get them uploaded here uh, they'll be displayed on some directories not all but it's a it's a worthwhile thing to have uh, as it will just make your listing pop a little bit more same at the bottom you can embed a youtube url and what we want to what you can do there is if you've got a video or something that you you like for your business that represents your business enter it there it's not going to display on all directories but it's worthwhile having if you've got a video that is sort of going to sort of sell your business a bit to people who are looking for a service or a product once you've entered all that information just click next final step is just to make sure that you link your listing coach to your uh, social media account again just adds a bit more information allows customers to research you a little bit more so if you've got a facebook account or a twitter account just connect those here you just need to log in and it'll ask if you can connect them i'm not going to go through the process here simply because it's pretty self-explanatory so once you've done that click next and then we are on to the final stage where we're going to check through the information uh, so here you want to just make sure everything as is as expected so is it all the information you've entered up to this point is going to be displayed here and you can see there's a google my business verification so what that is is google will send a postcard to the address you specified in here and that just confirms that you you actually have a business at that address just to make sure that no one's uh, entering businesses they don't own or anything like that so you will get the uh, you will get a postcard to the address you've put here and you will need the code that comes on that postcard so make sure everything is correct and click synchronize business directories and once you've done that it just take a few seconds and it should update the information now at this point nothing's really going to have happened because listing coach has to enter uh, all your information onto the directories it's going to take a uh, sort of a couple of days but what you will have access to now is this dashboard which is really useful and it's just got all the information about sort of how, how if your business is synced up and it's got all the directories you're going to be listed in and you can see a bit of your reputation 
really useful little dashboard and once you've got that postcard from Google My Business you're going to need to go and enter the code here. Now, if you do need to get back to this section you can just go in your fast control panel and it's just the listing coach section uh, on, the, on the list there and then you can just choose your, your listing there and then you're back onto this dashboard in the future. And that is all there is to it. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye for now.